bang out of order, bang out of order what Satan might have done to this poor gentleman for selling half of his bag. Bang out of order. Guys, this is Spin, World of Crypto. I'm just going to jump straight into this because I think it's bang out of order. And in this space of DeFi, I don't think anybody should have to go through what they have made this gentleman go through, yeah? Now, this is to do with the Saitama devs releasing, yeah, vital information to social media, YouTubers, to whoever, to ridicule a person for selling half of these Saitama holdings to diversify to diversify his portfolio and to jump into other projects. Bang out of order. Firstly, we are all in more than one project. We are all in one more than one project. We don't need to stay in one project. We're not coated to one project. It's bang out of order what they've done. I'm going to just give you a little a little flavor of this of this uh, YouTube of this AMA that had taken place with Terrarium and the doctor answering this information. Bang out of order. Yeah, we're going to touch base on this up. Let me just share my screen and show you guys what has been happening because. Again, guys, honestly, I don't think that anybody should have to go through what this, they have made this gentleman go through. You don't have to reveal your, your wallet address to no one if you don't want to. Like, this is what DeFi is about. DeFi is about being free to do what it is that, as an investor, you want to do. Not being ridiculed or being targeted by some cultist type of, no, it's, it's, it's bang out of order. So we're going to touch base and big up Ozzy Austin. I'm going to play his video, yeah, where he's just, he lets the AMA from the Twitter. So let me just play it. Let me just play it, guys. AMA that was held today over the part where he actually just explains what what happened. You own 108 wallets by yourself? Yes, I do. Meaning that you own uh, how much inside the pre-sale? Uh, I bought it during the pre-sale. So there... You know, so right there, he says, you know, point blank. I think it caught everyone off guard that, yeah, I own 108. And I mean, you could see there was sort of just silence there because I think everyone was like, well, wow. Quickly, guys, how does, how, do, how is people able to directly target one person? Imagine there's, there's wallet addresses. There's no email. There's no nothing attached to any wallet address. How is someone able to specifically target one person and ask them if they own 108 of these wallets? Yeah, that's because some vital information has been leaked from the Saitama devs, yeah, to some of, you know, some of the, the social media people in Saitama. You know, a gentleman by the name of Faltron has managed to get this information, and this has come directly from the devs. No one else would have this information. Nobody else would have this information. No one would have Dr. Uh, what's his name? Pra, let's have a look. Praveen. Yeah, no one would have Dr. Praveen's number, his wallet number, nothing. This has come from the Saitama devs. Why has it come from the Saitama devs? More than likely because they want to damage the new project that Dr. Pra uh, Praveen is now in, ultimately. He actually came out and said it. I think that's what everyone was sort of waiting to hear. And then he basically says, here, I want to tell my story behind this. After you hear him talk, you know, make your decision on this. I was a hardcore Saitama holder ever since um, July uh, when it first I came in from Shiba Swap, and I was um, uh, one of the top tier um, Saitama holder. I believed in the project. Uh, I continue to believe in the project. Um, I held their support line many times. I invested a lot of ETH into the project. Um, there were times I had to pump it up to uh, 100 at the times to hold the support line. So, I mean, just hearing that right there, obviously he was a big time whale in Saitama. He, he cares about the project, even to the point where he every developer knew who he was. When Saitama started to fall, he would try to help support it and, and pump it back up. So, I mean, he's been a huge supporter and, and he explains that here. And um, I'm well known among the devs. I'm, but I'm only the simple holder of Saitama. So during the um, journey of Saitama and being a holder, um, on November the 13th, we reached an all-time high of 77 million. That was my holding. And, but I never sold. I held strong. I believed in it. 
I even went back to the hotel room in Las Vegas when it was launching and put, and I noticed that it was dropping and I put a little more F into it. He even noticed at the Vegas launch that this thing was dumping. People were dumping on it. And what did he do? He put more money in to try to build it back up again. Came out and said he never sold. He never sold his Saitama during that time. So he held through all this, this whole time he's held through on his Saitama. So I, I've held a strong line and I've been devoted to uh, the whole project. But as of lately, as of January of 22, I received a call in the first two weeks. So guys, he's saying he received it. Listen to this Throughout part. Throughout history. Part is, this part is really so, important. Uh, this part is really important because the way that he, the way that he says that he had a call from the Saitama dev and he, he's, being, he's being polite about how that conversation went. Yeah, he's being polite about how this conversation went to, because it was to the point where he, he was, he gave the Saitama dev his wallet address so that they can check to see whether he was the actual person who was actually selling, uh, selling the tokens or not. He told them that he wasn't selling the tokens they was assuming that it was him and he's felt the need to actually show them his wallet address, <clears throat> excuse me, to, to prove that it weren't him dumping on these coins. Yeah, let's listen to it. Um, January from one of the dev members and basically asking me um, whether I'm selling my Saitama and my response was no. And I revealed um, my um, wallet number in that context saying that I was above or below that pers particular person who's selling and you're miss um, you're you were mistaking me for somebody else and that's not cool after you know so many years so many months of support of the Saitama program and I continue to support so right there, you had a Saitama developer reach out to him and ask if he was the one that was selling. And in a way, it seemed like it was more accusing him of selling because it got to the point where he had to actually then give his wallet number to this developer to show him that he wasn't the one that was actually selling. It was actually another person's wallet, the one above his, that was selling. And so he gave up his wallet number. He actually, right then and there, they all knew who he was and, and where his money was. He said it wasn't cool that he had to actually show that, but he did it out of good faith. He did it to show that he wasn't dumping on the project and that he was supporting the project and he had been supporting it from day one. And so that's where he stood with this whole thing. However, support it. So can you imagine, can you imagine being, you know, a, a, a holder and a supporter of the project, supporting, supporting the project even when it was dipping? The guy had 77 million. Yeah, his tokens went up to 77 million and he could have pulled, he could have been taking loads of profits and he never, he supported it all the way back down to 7 million. His, his holdings went from 77 million to 7 million. Yeah, that is, that is a real supporter of the project. That is definitely a real supporter of the project. So to have the, the, the devs of that project come accusing you, accusing you of selling your bag or doing whatever not, after all of that support, after all of that support, how dare they? How dare they have the cheek to even ask him whether he sold his bag or not yeah and even if he did sell his bag after all of that support how dare they how double dare they bang out of order bang out of order yeah in this DeFi space doesn't matter what you do with your money doesn't matter if you're rich if you're not rich if you're well if you're not it doesn't matter these people have done what they have to do to get to this to get to the stage that they're at how dare they bang out of order say Tama devs and in February and just four weeks ago um, I got this opportunity. I, I do my own research, as you know, um, and I decided I decided to. My holding went from seventy-seven million to almost six point five to seven million. So I lost ninety-two percent of my value. He says that it went from $77 million at the all-time high down to 6.5 to 7 million. And he lost over 92% of his value. 
I mean, that's incredible to think that you've lost that much. And again, he said that he held strong through this whole entire thing. Of my holding, but I held strong supporting them. And, but, you know, sometimes your get, emotions get in the way and business is business. At the end of the day. Guys, he had a right at that point for his emotions to get in his way because the devs have come accusing him yeah, of selling his bag and all of this type of stuff. When if he wants to sell his bag, he can sell his bag. Like, who cares? Why are you like that's some cultist type stuff going on? And Saitama shouldn't be doing that. They shouldn't be doing that whatsoever. And for the devs to, to give out his wallet address to people that they know is going to attack Dr. Praveen and the new project that he's jumping onto, like it's bang out of order. That's a breach of privacy. That's, that's some, some deep levels of breaches going on right now, which in the crypto DeFi space, when we've escaped all of that. We've escaped all of that. Who's is this and who owns that? And we don't care. Do you get what I'm saying? We're all even in the eyes of, in the eyes of God. Yeah, so bang out of order. Let's, let's just finish this bit up there quickly. Hey, I decided, hey, I need to diversify. So I left 50% of my Saitama stake in Saitama, which I still support. I'm a holder. And I took half of my stake. So can you imagine, yeah, he took 50% of his holdings and so he's still, he's still got 50% of his money in Saitama, but the devs still done what it is that they've done. They still went and revealed his wallet address and confirmed the wallet address of who it wasn't bang out of order. This is bang out of order, bang out of order. And basically uh, by that time I was on the board of this, just recently on February 10th, I joined this board and the Saitama team knows very well because I did inform them with all due respect and uh, that I moved to this uh, new project. He got onto the board of this project on February 10th. So he was late to the pre-sales of this whole thing, the pre-sale airdrops, right? So he couldn't get through, he couldn't get in through the airdrop. And so he came in through the pre-sales and that's where these 108 wallets came from. However, like he said, you know, he had to diversify. You can't knock the guy for trying to diversify in this space. And yeah, don't get me wrong. There's that 108 wallets is a ton of wallets to have. Yep. Yeah, so, so there you have it, guys. Yeah, it, it is on Twitter. So you can actually, for those who are invested in whether it's Saitama or Terrarium, it's on Twitter. You can get all of that information. The guy, he didn't hide any of the information. He didn't hide anything. He just, he just said, yes, it was me. Yes, I do have 108 wallets yeah and i did you know get in via the pre-sale but so what so what like if the pre-sale was for let's just say the pre-sale was for for for, for pe normal investors like you and me yeah i invested 0 0.5 ethereum into uh, terrarium but let's just say that the maximum allocation per wallet was 0 0.1 yeah what would i have done i would have went and got five wallets and put 0 0.1 in each wallet if that was the case or whatever it to be. So you can't hate on someone for, for you know, using, following the rules. Yep, one wallet, maximum 10. He went and created 108. For me, in my personal opinion, after listening to him, I think it's better for that person to have, for one person to have a, a decent holding in some, especially given his integrity, the fact that he's part of the team, he's a senior advisor, on the team so clearly he wants the project to do well yeah if he decides to sell his bag early or before the six years that he said because he said he was going to hold it for six years or whatever if he decides to sell it that's his business that is his business if he decides to sell it and nobody else's and no man should be ridiculed yeah no man should be ridiculed for selling their bag no person should be ridiculed for selling their bag it's bang out of order in my opinion what Saitama had done, bang out of order. And again, that's come from one of the devs. It's come from one of the devs at the end of the day. You know, you, they've got people around them that they are close with that once that information comes out, you know, they hope that it can maybe damage another project that's, that's in competition with them when there's enough space in this, in, this, in this sphere to actually for everyone to make money. Bang out of order, guys, bang out of order.
honestly. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below because me personally, if that was me, like Dr. Praveen, he didn't even have to answer any questions. Did you? Like, if that was me, I wouldn't be answering any questions at all. And he didn't have to. But the fact that he did, I'm sure it has provided a lot of peace of mind for the Terraria uh, investors. But it's also, it's brought out a story which is highly sad to hear the whole story, you know? It's, it's sad to hear the whole story. The guy held the support line for Saitama even after having 77 mil, he did not touch it. It went down to six and a half mil. Even when it was going down, he was adding more ETH to try and hold the support line. Is that a person that you would, regardless whether they're getting ready to sell, is that a person that you would go and tarnish after they've supported your project, your project, throughout that period? Bang out of order. Bang out of order. What's your thoughts, guys? What's your thoughts? Comment, comment in the comment sections down below. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell to stay updated with all of the information, all of the latest crypto things going on in this space, all the gossip, not all, not all of the gossip, not all of the gossip, because again, we're here to make money. We're here to grow in the crypto space. Crypto is not about all of this type of stuff. Crypto is what escaped us from all of this, yeah? And put us into an even, in an even plane. Yeah, whether you've got a million to invest or you've got a hundred pound to invest, it doesn't matter. We're all the same, you know. We would all have to be that millionaire and you know get pre-sale projects and put a hundred ETH in or whatever it is. We would all do it if we believed in the project. So don't hate on one guy or think, oh yeah, oh, this is a bit dodgy. Because the time that he came in, that's what was available. You know, had he come in a week before, he might have got the 25 ETH airdrops and he might only have 10 wallets. Does that make sense? But you know what? He's got 108 wallets and he's got that amount. Who cares? That's my thoughts anyway. What's your thoughts? Comment below. Until next time, stay safe, invest wisely. Peace.